This side chickism and uh, <laughs> economics, yeah. we saw that on social media a lot in the last few yeah. weeks. Is it real? Is this something that we are ostriching about and we are not talking about it? Oh, definitely, definitely. Because let's, you know, for there's a lot of women sometimes they go into workplaces where for in order to get promotions, to even get the job sometimes they're forced, they have, they, they have to succumb. So they have to date this person or sleep with them or whatever. So if you're thinking, well, if I can sleep with him to get a job or sleep with him to get a whatever, then I might as well just date him. And if he, he's just wanna, he wants to do it once, let me just do it 20 times and see what I can get from it. It's an economic decision, decision that she's making. Because yeah. she's feeling, well, I'm, gonna be, I'm being sexually harassed anyway. So yeah, if I, and, 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 and either I'm gonna be, I can choose to, and we shouldn't force women into those positions, though. They shouldn't feel that they have to choose between sexual harassment or unemployment. That shouldn't be a decision At anybody all, has to make. Yeah, it shouldn't so be. But unfortunately, it is. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. it is. You know, certain promotions you want in the workplace, the person who has to do, do that point, and if you don't sleep with him, is not coming to you. And be some, there's some workplaces where everybody knows he sleeps with every woman he promotes, and everybody knows it's an open secret, but the company and the system does nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So women are, a lot of women are being forced into these positions. And, and, and then some of them also make it active. There are some women also making an active decision to say, well, this is how I'm going to climb get, up. Yes. This is how I'm going to get forward. Yeah. You know, this is what I want to do. There's women also because doing that as well. Because so why yeah. not? Why, why? Are there women who are in, in asking a man to sleep with them for them to promote Definitely. him? Absolutely. Definitely. They do that? Yes, yes, they do. Why do they want the man to sleep with them? Why does a they, man want the woman to sleep with them? Attraction and power. Attraction and power. Really? Yes. yes. I don't get it. What why? do you get? So a, man, a woman at the top, managing director or something, says, mm -hmm. this guy, I have to sleep with him. And yeah. you think that's okay? We should accept that. No, I'm not saying so we should accept that for Whatever man, we accept for a man, we should accept for a woman. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. And, 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 and if we think it's bad, I'll scrap for both. Right, and if we think it's bad, then scrap it for both. Yes. Like, you why cannot, is, why you cannot, you can't, you how can you have two genders and you have same actions and expect if you think that action is wrong it should be wrong when anybody does it Not you know if, 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 if stealing okay, is so bad so let me ask you if a woman leaves a man yeah because the man is broke yeah society understands it mm -hmm. that what happened i left was i actually the guy is too broke oh, okay yeah if a man says i've left my wife for his broke society does not accept it who doesn't you, accept you know society should accept it but and, and even if they oh, don't they accept so, it but even yes. if, they do, if they don't it's his choice it's like choice. I've, I've left her yeah. because she's broke to, yeah. there's men who uh, there's men you so, go so on social our culture media, will not accept that because you are supposed to provide for her so what is his book? A lot of you can't yeah, a lot younger men now. About society accepting his reason for. No, I'm for coming to you who say that everything should be the same. Yeah. What what the, the yeah, context for women yeah. in everything if should be the same as bad. men. So I'm saying if that in this society. Women are allowed to leave a relationship because the man is broke. Yeah, but men, men should men be allowed, are not to, do allowed yes. to do that. But they should be. not allowing men. No, the, the society narrative. Yeah, so it should that's change. That's so that's our change. point is that it should change. It should and change. Let's, let's be honest. Why? What men sense does left, it make for a man to leave a woman because she's broke? Men have left women for flimsier broke. reasons Reasons than her being broke. She's and big, women have also bad. left have left men for flimsier reasons. Okay, so your reasons. point is women and men, same, same, same everything. Yes. Yeah. Is that, is that equal, what it was intended? Equal, equal, yes. Okay, so that's so what a feminism is about. So yeah, if it's bad, it's, it should be bad, should be for, bad both. for both. Genders. If it's good, it should be good for both. It's good it. for the goose, it's, it's good, good for, for the gander. Okay, so a man doesn't know how to cook, bad. Mm -hmm. A woman doesn't know how to cook, same bad. Yes. yes. Not worse. Because cooking is oh, a, I like the loud, because, yes. because because cooking is a learned skill. Yeah, it's, and it's any it's adult and I feel like skill. I feel like any adult who eats should, should know how to cook. cook it. It's for your own well being. No. Survival. It's in your it's in your interest to yeah. learn how to cook. So why and should we have a why should why should any so a woman can leave her husband because she he doesn't know how to cook. Yes, yeah, if she wants to. If yeah. she wants to, you don't know how to cook. So bye, child. She should she like she should never if she knew cooking was even her. The younger women are laughing. If cooking if cooking was if cooking was a deal breaker for her, she shouldn't have even before even got married. Exactly. Like she cook me a few meals yeah, to taste. taste mm. Mm. No, this the, this is so salty. Bye. Like if I'm sick, who's gonna do the cooking? I know. <laughs> oh, because she when I'm tired from work, who's gonna do the cooking? Exactly. You know, if, if I'm a woman, so a man and, and a woman have a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The man is threatening to leave the woman because the woman doesn't look after the child properly. Mm -hmm. yes. So a woman can also threaten to leave her man because she doesn't look after yeah. the child. Properly. Or the two of them can decide they're gonna employ a nanny. A nanny. Yeah. Because both That's of them are so in terms of financial contribution, they should <laughs> yeah, be contributing the same. So let's, well, let's actually, I think in terms of financial contribution, it should be the same. It should be equitable. It, yeah. What is that? So, for example, if okay. you earn thousand, I earn five hundred. No, irrespective of what everyone earns. Yeah, no, 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 but no, you can't be expected to contribute no, the same No, there are homes yeah. where the woman earns more, yeah. but the man contributes more because he finds that as his responsibility, so that 
Ninety percent of the man's salary mm -hmm. is coming into the home. Yeah. Okay. Only twenty percent of the woman's salary comes. But the woman earns more. Yes. Yeah. And but the, the culture says that the man is responsible for this. Yeah. And then is in that, that okay? And in that same home, in that's that same woman, home, you find that the so woman would do domestic work. Ninety percent of the domestic, of the domestic work. chunk no, of no, it. No, I'm so talking no, about a woman no. who doesn't do domestic. But she works like the man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She earns more than yes, the man. So I think but the man bring, is expected, mm -hmm. even though he's earning lower, to put a lot more. No, I think it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah, that should be equal. Yes. Yeah. You pay 50, I pay 50. No, it's not. It's, I should be equitable. That's yeah. what I said, equitable. What because suffice. depending on what you're earning. Because if we're both, if we're, if you're earning 1,000, I'm earning 500, and you ask us both to bring 500, I'm left I'll, with nothing, I'll be left and you're left with 500. So that's, it has but to be equitable. But what is yours as his? So what is left with nothing? Hmm? What is so, yours as no, his? No, but you still need your own money yeah, too. Yeah, I need some. No, it's, it's all his. No, no, no. You, I, his I, money I, is your money. I, I, your I, I money is his money. I don't believe in completely. Oh, you don't subscribe to that. I don't believe in completely, you know, surrendering your money to each other. Because ni penye. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> so you also I don't believe in housewives who yeah. don't work? Um, I think, that I, think I, 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 I don't think yeah. women should choose to be completely dependent on men. No. Just because, for example, what if he dies? Let's even say he's even a good person. What if he dies and then you and your kids will literally overnight go from middle class to your scrounging. And nobody should be at the mercy of somebody else. Yeah. You know, you and, if, and, 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 if, and if you are a housewife, then you should be ensured that you're getting some income. So Absolutely. that if you ever do want to walk away, you have something to walk away with. Because if not, you're at the, completely at the mercy of somebody else. So I'm, I would never encourage any of my friends, my sister, to be a housewife. It's her choice, but I wouldn't encourage it. Because I feel like people can change. change. He can fall out of love with you. He could die. And then what happens to you and the kids? Or you? What happens Alone. to you? Yeah. You end for yourself, your own self-actualization. You need to be, have something of your own. Yeah. You need to earn of your own. So you can say, oh, I can buy this for myself without having to go to him to ask him, oh, Kojo, I need this. So I'm Again, a, Kojo, but yes, anyway. Kwame or whatever, you know. <laughs> so I feel like for, for your own well-being mm -hmm. and for your own... And we've seen too many stories right. of women who have spent 20 years, 30 years being a Laboring. housewife. The man decides one day that I don't want you anymore. I've got another it. woman, kicks her out. She has nothing of her own. Right. No savings, no money. Because she's the, the law will not allow any man to Yes, but, but... The law um, will not allow but but, 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 the reality, but, but, but the reality is that there's women who don't have access to resources to even go to court, right? And going to court and getting a divorce and going through all those proceedings are very expensive. If you're a woman who already has no resources, how are you going to be able to pay a lawyer? There's legal aid. Yes, but come, let's, oh, be, really? let's be practical. We're in Ghana. We're in Ghana. There's women who are even scared of those kind of um, spaces. They don't ha even have the language. Who's going to tell them that this is something that you're entitled to? Some people don't even know. So if you're a woman, I don't think you should ever put yourself in that position where you're completely at the mercy of somebody else. Mm. That's interesting. Any text messages that we can wrap up before we cut the cake? Yeah, let me start with you, Antoinette. What's up? Let's go to Fusaini Ahmed. He says, Felicity, you are good. I think you should have your own show. Coming from Samuel Asante Nuru, he says, being the head means the man is to be consulted on all decisions. He may not be the one to have a final say, but at least he has to be part of the decision-making process. Atchison says, watching you live from California. Good evening, Mr. Paul. In fact, you're too much. This edition of Good Evening Ghana is so special. Keep up with the good works. And then Ruben Mensa says, good evening, Mr. Paul. It looks like today's show is Women's Our Day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone okay, I have a text message just before you come in. She says I shouldn't mention her name. She said, hey, Paul, the other lady isn't getting speaking time. Oh. Yes. Your chair is turned yes. mostly towards Felicity. Absolutely. She says, please Thank don't you. mention my name. <laughs> Madam S, I won't mention your Thank name. You How are you so doing, much. though? Happy Valentine, Sorry. Madam S. Madam S, happy yes. Valentine. Please say happy Valentine I'm to Alaji for me as well. <laughs> say happy Valentine to Alaji. <laughs> Exposing her. She knows, who, she knows who she is. She knows who she is. Yes. Oh, That's wow. the truth. Uh -huh. Go on, please. Lastly, Go on. from Samuel Asante, he says the lady in white jacket needs a man who is open minded and excellent with ex excellent exposure. I don't see the local men in Ghana cohabiting with her in peace, so she needs international men of good standing. <laughs> okay, so there's another message from here. Uh, Rosemary sends a message. Said, this is a great, great show, honey. Yeah. Aww. Honey. Aww. She says, now the whole world knows Rosemary, and I'm shy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> All right, so from Ken Kofi, he's asking Paul, um, Paul, is Valentine's Day a woman's day? <laughs> Since today, the whole conversation is women, women, women. And then Ruben Mensa says, Good evening, Paul. The lady in red and white dress reading messages, is she married? No. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah, no, she's not married, but uh, you know, she's tough, but she's not married. <laughs> All right, and Nana Juman is saying that the ladies in the studio are so alive today. And 
Mohamed Jibro uh, Gariba is saying that congratulations I'm watching you and your guest live from Greater Kumasi. Lily Will is wishing as all a happy Valentine's Day and then to Paul also. And lastly, from Samuel Fosuba, my colossal Valentine greetings to all and sundry, especially the first gentleman and his vice and their spouses. Oh. Okay. This is from Baba Taylor, watching live from California. Good evening, Mr. Paul. In fact, you are too much. The edition of Good Evening Ghana is so special. Keep up with the good work. Fuseni Ahmed say, Felicity, you are good. You should have your own show. So, Felicity... We are expecting you to have your own <laughs> show. <laughs> I think people are loving you tonight. Uh, I don't know whether this is this is escaped you. It's um, Guma, Imba, Neya, Alex. He says, Paul, Felicity will suffer broken heart <laughs> if she does not change her <laughs> feminist thing. I want the ladies to know that there is no equality in marriage. Hmm. It's rather a push or pull thing to attain. Then uh, Na Che says, dear men, Avoid toxic feminists by all means. <laughs> okay. Come on to, um, There's another one. Christian Quartin says, most ladies who talk like this do all the house chores. They pay their bills. They've been abused in their, uh, and later their husbands will beat them and still choose to stay in, and yet they talk like this. Oh, okay. I'm not sure that's correct. Okay. I'm not sure that's correct. Right. Uh, yes, you. Uh, Before Kofi says, some men are wicked, but some women are devilish. <laughs> If you don't know, go ask Kodate Lamte. <laughs> Hope Kweku says, man will always be the leader of the family unless he sells it. Uh, uh, Hakimi from Spintech says, I'm enjoying your program. I really like the girl in white. Well, she's a woman. Uh, this says, good evening, Ghana. Please, I'm married, but need Felicity as my advisor and counselor. And this uh, from Nana Ude from Mile 7. Uh, she says, hey, Paul, today's program, dear, Felicity should have been the guest rather because she's on the program and not giving space, Kra. Now, this says, good evening, Paul. Great conversation. The issue about who is the head of the family. I vehemently disagree with the ladies. So if it's not about who earns more and the man, then who should leave the house? Because averagely and mostly, it's men who earn more and shoulder a lot of the responsibility in the home. So now what's your criteria? Because someone must leave the house. Okay. You're done? Yeah. That's okay. It. We have just five minutes to wrap up. Yeah. I'm I just wanted to, to quickly comment. Yeah. Um, the one who said that I'm going to be broken hearted. I just want to know, are all the women in your family who have divorced, not married, been left, you know, are they all feminists? <laughs> <laughs> and the men who are heartbroken, divorced, never been married, are they feminists? So clearly, feminism has nothing to do with whether or not you're going to be heartbroken. Well, as you can see, I'm glowing, so don't worry about <laughs> me. <laughs> so, yeah, moving forward, what do you think that for young, younger women who are going into the workplace, or what should they do when these men approach them? I mean, you need, it's, it's a decision you have to make. You know what society stands for when it comes to men. Society will look kindly on the man and troll you throw you under the bus. Even the man will throw you under the bus. You know, you have the main chicks or the wives coming to beat you up and um, pour acid on you and all of that. So you need to decide, should, should this be something you should, but I think that generally as a society, we should, if we are repudiating something, we should do it for both genders. And that for me is the crux of the matter. And not say that, well, encouraging what men to have, side. and in fact, we shouldn't just make it influential. I know that on the fly we said influential yeah. men. We have church mates who yeah. have Go four girlfriends. So is there really? a big politician oh, who course. can't have, who has all this access? Don't doesn't one need to have resources to keep multiple? Oh, not God. necessarily. Oh, no, no. Oh, really? No. Some people use other resources. Yes. Like what? They're I don't resources. <laughs> <laughs> you know, resources is Felicity. not always financial. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm patrol. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> so really? people, so other people have other ways that they they get a lot of girls, and so we should even make it for only rich. Yeah. influential people so i think that women should be smarter if you mm. want to actually get into this situation you should know what you're going in for and be financially independent i think that 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 will save you a lot mm. if you have what you're doing have your own money and if please if you're a woman you're in a home you should be practicing it's partnership we shouldn't we should not be having homes where it's just auto leading by men it really doesn't help anyone you know your children will benefit from 
the parent who knows better in that particular instance leading the 40 rather than having one person whether they know about the issue or not just automatically leading so i should i think we should really get to the point where we partner as as spouses and as parents, and that for me is because uh, I'm, I'm a family person, I'm, yeah. and I know how partnering my family has helped, you know. Yeah. And so we, I, I really, really, you know, prefer that we look at that and scrap things. If it's bad, it's bad, and stop saying, "Oh, it's bad for men." It's bad for, I mean, women. But you know, for men, they are just naturally weak. No, it's and a decision. Paul, what mm -hmm. do you have to say to your, you know, fellow influential people who take side chicks? What's your message to them? Message to them. <laughs> As you said, as adults, they develop decision. Mm -hmm. I, I can't advise against or for. Some people will say that having a side check helped them to focus, there's some research for them, whatever. Other people will say that it ruined their marriage, it was a disaster. Some people will, will tell, as we've had in the recent past, the girl ruined him, to lost your job and all of that. So it's an individual decision, but it all depends on, on people. I just don't think, I don't agree with you that it's equal, equal, everything equal for men. Mm. I don't agree. I think that men have a bigger role to play in certain things. Women have a bigger role to play in certain things. Mm. We, if we can align that properly, we'll have a cohesive society. If we say equal, equal, it gets ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, like to say, you didn't take care of the child, so I've left you. A woman says, that is ridiculous. Mm. A man says that you are broke, so I've left you. It's ridiculous. A woman says, you don't know how to cook jollof, so I've left you. It's mm. ridiculous. So those things, uh, we don't have to ridicule ourselves. We have to have a society that has cohesion. To do that, we have to understand. But we all have to agree, what, in which area do men have a bigger role? Mm. And they must live up to that bigger role. In which area do women have a bigger role? They must live up to that. So for some things, men have a bigger role, women have a smaller role. Some, it's for some things, women have a bigger role, men have a smaller role. I think we have to understand that. It's not about superiority at all. It's about roles. Yeah, well, I think that unless it's something that requires let's say breastfeeding for example a man could never breastfeed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so something like that you can say it should be a woman's role to breastfeed mm -hmm. well, of course feeding can be done by the man too so I think unless it's something which is a biological requirement that's something that restricts you biologically that should be the only things that we should draw along the lines of but gender anything else we should Any, play everything. equal roles yeah we should play equal roles and okay. that's, I, I don't that's agree you know, with that. I don't good know evening Ghana thank you I've <laughs> no no we're not done yet <laughs> okay sorry. let's go cut the cake no, sorry. And then, yeah. okay. <laughs> Felicity, please come and help me Karen come and help me and let's do the cake cutting cake with roses wow Oh, edible. Yeah, Mikael, you're, you're posh. <laughs> okay, we have glasses here. So, somebody's going to please. Okay, so, well, okay. Uh, 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 thank you. Thank you very much, Rosemary. This is, okay, uh, one, two, three, let's go. Is it going down? Yeah, yes. it is. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, we got this it done. lovely. We got it done. So, we have cake in the studio to eat. Edible roses. Let's see. Edible roses. Oh, mm, really? Nice. Oh. <laughs> Too much sugar. I can't taste it. I just On that note, viewers, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us for the show. Thank you, Felicity, thank for coming. Thank you, Rhoda. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Happy Valentine.